to our Tustin Board of Ed Education, to our Superintendent, Mr. Gray, to the TUSD staff members, faculty members, administrators, and fellow principals that are here, to our community partners and our business partners, to our parents, to our faculty and staff at Pioneer, and most importantly, to our students. I'd like to welcome you to our National Blue Ribbon School Celebration. We often say at Pioneer that our school is not great by accident, but instead it's by the efforts of what each and every one of us do each day. This belief has been echoed by Jim Collins in his book, Good to Great, when he says, greatness is not a function of circumstance. Instead, it's achieved by hard work and by discipline. So to this end, we are here today, not only to celebrate what we have to accomplish, but to also thank the many, many people that have made this accomplishment possible. To help us celebrate this day, we are most fortunate to have some very distinguished guests who are gonna be joining us. We would like, or I would like the following individuals to please stand and be recognized, and we'll hold our applause because it's a pretty long group because we have a whole lot of very special people here today. First, Mr. James Laird, President of the Testing Unified School District Board of Education. Mr. Lynn Davis, who is clerk and board member. Mr. Jonathan Abelow, member of our school board. Also, Mr. Dick Bray, Superintendent, Testing Unified School District. Mr. Brock Wagner, Deputy Superintendent. Ms. Kathy Nielsen, Chief Academic Officer. Mr. Tony Soria, Chief Business Officer. Dr. Julie Mitchell, Chief Personnel Officer. Margie Sepulveda, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. Dr. Lori Stillings, Assistant Superintendent of Student Services. Dr. Mike Barker, direct, Director of Secondary Education. Nancy Love, Director of Elementary Education. Mr. Mark Elliott, Director of Communication and Public Information. We also have, and we are most fortunate to have, a number of people who are both site administration and district administration, district directors here. If you would please stand at this time. Also, we are most fortunate to have Ms. Kat Vermilis, who is a representative for Senator Mimi Rogers, who will be joining us this day. Well, would you please give a round of applause and thank these individuals. And now, I would like to introduce Ms. Laura Krause, who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. Please rise for the flag salute. Ready, begin. to plan this day, our school had a very, very clear philosophy, and that was this. We saw this as a day not just to celebrate a very, very special and very unique honor that our school has received, but most importantly, we saw it as an opportunity to thank the people that have made this possible. There is no one individual, no particular group that makes this school what it is. It's our collective efforts and the collective dedication of many, many, many people. And as we thought about it, we broke down our pioneer family into four distinct groups that make our school distinguished and nationally recognized. Those groups are the Tuscan Unified School District as a whole, our parents, community, and business sponsors, our pioneer staff, and our pioneer students. So we are going to take a minute, and for each of those groups, take a moment, not only to have them be recognized, but to see and say a few words on their behalf. Let us start with our district recognition. Without question, Pioneer's success would not be possible without being part of the entire Test Unified School District, starting with the leadership of the TUST Board of Education and continuing through the district leadership, support departments, and fellow Tustin schools, pioneer benefits from these dedicated individuals. If you think about it, since 2004, Pioneer is not just a school that's shown excellence. Consider for a moment, we have received in Tustin one recognition for the Model California Continuation School Award, two National Title I Achieving School Award schools, 
17 California Distinguished Schools, and four National Blue Ribbon Schools. This level of consistent and continued excellence does not happen by accident. It happens by dedication of an entire school system. Speaking on behalf of the Tustin Unified School District, I am honored to introduce Mr. Dick Bray, Superintendent, who will be followed by Mr. James Lair, President of the Tustin Unified School District Board of Education. Mr. Bray. Thank you, good morning, and what an honor it is to be here at this great event. You know, when I received the official announcement from the United States Department of Education that Pioneer Middle School was being named and, and selected as a national blue ribbon school, it really came as no surprise to me. Over the years, Pioneer Middle School has been a role model for excellence in education. From school leadership, student achievement, curriculum and instruction, to school environment and parent support, Pioneer has truly distinguished itself in the community. Our school district has known this for some time, and now so does the whole nation. We're all very proud of Pioneer Middle School students, teachers, administrators, staff, and parents in what you've accomplished as a National Blue Ribbon School. And Pioneer is in good company, as Mr. Mattis just mentioned. During the past five years, Tustin Unified has received four National Blue Ribbon schools. That is just an outstanding, outstanding record. I want to thank, recognize, and thank all of you for your dedicated work and ongoing support in making Pioneer Middle School a National Blue Ribbon School. Have a great day, and now I'd like to introduce James Laird, our president of our Tustin Unified Board of Education. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Bray, and thank you, Mr. Matos. On behalf of the Tustin Unified School District Board of Education, I congratulate the students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and community members for making Pioneer Middle School a national blue ribbon school. To put this in perspective, you have to really look at the numbers of how amazing this award is for you all. Uh, in the, the population of the United States, approximately is about 305 million people. And the Department of Education picked only 329 schools in our great nation to be blue ribbon recipients. Also, when you put it in perspective of California, at California, we have a population of 36 million people. That's approximately 6 million students like you in all of our public education and private education system, K through 12. And among all those millions of people, you are one of 27 schools designated by the Secretary of Education of the state of California. Putting those numbers together, you sit at a pedestal so high. You are in that rarefied air, that, that air that is so high up there where you are, you are there achieving with just a few other, other types of schools like, like Pioneer. You are national models and you need, uh, I, I congratulate you and I welcome you to be very prideful about that this year. I thank you for all your dedication, your hard work, and commitment to your school. We are very distinctly uh, privileged and proud to honor Pioneer today for its Blue Ribbon Award. A legacy of excellence in education is our district's motto, and that couldn't be more appropriate than right here at Pioneer Middle School. We are very fortunate to have you in our school district working together to help us provide an excellent educational program for your children in our district. And I could not agree more with Mr. Matos in his opening statements. You know, you won a prize, it's an amazing prize, and everybody out here wants to win. Everybody wants to win day in and day out, but it is truly the will to prepare to win day by day 
that makes you outstanding, that will to prepare to be the best you can be. And today, this morning, I congratulate you on your amazing achievement this year, and I wish you the best of luck in your future educational endeavors. Thank you. Well, Pioneer benefits from the efforts of the entire TUSD community. We would like to specifically recognize the following organizations for their profound impact upon our school. Our school was started 10 years ago, and it was started under construction. We have steadily grown every year that we have been here. So I'd like to personally thank Pete Burns, Biff Denny, Doug Heckerthorn, Kyle Poe, and the entire district maintenance and operation crew. We have continually had to upgrade this school, and the tradesmen of your department have been invaluable to what we've been able to accomplish. As we grow as a school, that means we're constantly needing to purchase new materials also, and the entire business services and purchasing department, specifically Brock Wagner, Tony Soria, and Susan Ramakey, have been tremendously important to what we do, and we thank you. We've tried to, we were built to be a model technology school, and we were in 1998. But as you know, technology years are like dog years, and every year that goes by, you get behind very quickly. And over the last three years, we've worked very hard to get to the place again where we can say we're a model technology school. Mr. Jim Wolf and the entire technology department in Tustin has been incredibly important to this end, and we thank you. Obviously, as the school grows, we have to continually hire new and excellent staff and the entire personnel services department under the direction of Dr. Julie Mitchell. We thank you for your efforts in supporting us. And without question, we are here first and foremost, not for buildings and not to hire people. We're here to help kids learn. And the department in charge of instructional services, how we teach, what we teach, and the materials that we have to make that happen, the staff development that goes to help our teachers become better teachers every day, that is invaluable to what we do. So we thank Kathy Nielsen and the entire Educational Services Department for what you do to support us. Finally, in particular, we are blessed. We get students from all over Orange County and certainly from many schools in Tustin. But there are five primary feeder schools in which students come to Pioneer from. And these students are amazingly well prepared so that when they step on campus, we can begin the highest levels of learning here because these students have been stretched to the highest levels in elementary school. So I'd like the following people to please stand and be recognized. The principal of Hicks Canyon, Mr. Rich Montgomery. The principal of Peters Canyon, Ms. Janet Bittett. Principal of Ladera, Mr. Ryan Bolenbach. Principal of Tustin Ranch, Mr. Dean Jennings. Principal of Tustin Memorial Academy, Ms. Cindy Agopian. Please stand and be recognized. And then without, without question, the other half, because we are middle school, we are a bridge. We're a bridge between being a child and being an adult. And we hope the children that come to us in sixth grade leave ready for the rigors of a comprehensive high school that's going to prepare them for college and beyond. A vast majority of our students attend Beckman High School, and we have a very close working relationship with that school and the vertical teaming that goes on so that we know what's expected at Beckman so we can better prepare our students for it is, in, is invaluable to what we do. I'd like Ms. Adele Hoyer to please stand, as well as the teachers that have come from Beckman High School, that we can recognize you for your efforts. Thank you. And finally, within Tustin, I am blessed to work with four other middle school principals. We view our job not as individual schools in which each of us are in charge of our kids. We don't view our school or our, our job as my job is to help the Wildcats while another principal's job is to help the Highlanders. No. We view every student, the middle school, middle school student in our district, as our students. And I have learned immeasurable amounts from my colleagues and the excellent things that they do at their school we have often stolen and brought here to make our school a better place. So would Ms. Tracy Vander Hayden of Hughes Middle School please stand, Dave Mintz of Curry, Christine Mattis of Ut, and Dean Crow of CT please stand to be recognized and thank you for your efforts to improve our school and our students. It is my distinct privilege next to introduce the Pioneer Concert Band. 
When we think of excellence, I can think of no group that exemplifies this better. In the last four years, every time that this group has competed at any festival, usually against middle and high schools, this group has four years of unanimous superiors in every competition that they have, a, that they have attended. On top of that, we have a record number of students selected to the Orange County Honor Band. This group is under the direction and has been for all 10 years of Pioneer's history under the direction of Mr. Doug Fisher. Concert Band. Beyond district support, a, su a successful school requires strong home school partnerships. At Pioneer, we are most fortunate to have a tremendous level of parent and community support. This support starts with our Pioneer PTO. Over the last five years, the Pioneer PTO has raised over half a million dollars and provided thousands of hours of school service to enrich the experience for our students. These resources have been used for such things as installing interactive whiteboard technology in every classroom, upgrading our school computer labs, installing stage light and a state-of-the-art sound system in our performing arts center, providing every student each year with cultural assemblies and field trip opportunities. And the list would go on and on if I chose to. Speaking on behalf of our Pioneer parents, I am truly honored to introduce Pioneer's outstanding PTO president, Ms. Amy Ross. Good morning, and on behalf of the parent-teacher organization here, I'd like to add my congratulations to staff and students, both past and present. This is an amazing accomplishment for the entire Pioneer community, which includes the many parents who send their children daily to this wonderful school. As PTO president, I can attest to the strong commitment and support that parents provide to the school. Whether it's working registration, organizing fundraisers, planning activities, that's just naming a few, parental assistance clearly helps to enrich the experience here at Pioneer. The Blue Ribbon Award is tangible evidence of the strong partnership that exists between parents, students, and teachers and staff. With all of that said, can I be frank with you? Here's the deal. While I'm very proud of this award, and I truly am, it's not the end all. First and foremost, I'm a mom. And as such, I am far more proud of the daily investment that teachers and staff make in our children's lives. Clearly, these tangible awards are something to celebrate, and they're wonderful. 
but a far greater award is watching our students develop while here at Pioneer. As the parent of an eighth grader now, I still remember my deer in the headlights look the first time I set foot on this campus. I mean, look around you, this looks like a college. This was the size of my college. This place is massive. Soon, however, I realized that this was a very, very special place that had actually nothing to do with the size or the beauty of the buildings. A school is much more than its buildings, activities, or frankly, even its awards. The true measure of a school is how well students are being equipped for the next stage in their lives. This extends way beyond academic achievement. You see, while all parents want their children to be successful, the definition of this is far deeper and greater than grades and awards. First and foremost, success is measured by the quality of our character, how we treat one another in good times and not so good times, how we handle challenges and successes. It is Pioneer's work in this area that I'm most grateful. Not only is Pioneer a place where students can excel both academically and athletically, it's a place where character is being developed on a daily basis. As Arthur Ashe said, success is a journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. This award is yet one celebrated marker and milestone in your journey that continues. Thank you. And if I can be honest, I'll, 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 when I have the privilege of working with our current PTO board, you know, the first thing that they say to me whenever I, I see them, I almost always say, what do you need? What a, what a privilege it is to work with a group of parents who want to do whatever it takes to help their child have the kinds of experiences that you are so fortunate to receive. Additionally, Pioneer has been very fortunate to have some very special business and community partners. Their generous support of their time, their expertise, and their resources are vital to our school. In particular, I'd like to recognize three particular people. First off, well, he is, um, we have a saying at the school, once a wildcat, always a wildcat. While well, his children have graduated, he's certainly for the number of years that I've been involved in this school has been tremendously su su supportive from his role as prior city mayor and city council member. Tony Kawashima, I'd like to thank you and have you please be recognized for your service to our school. The efforts to install interactive whiteboard technology in every classroom has been a two-year ordeal at this school because our school, while it's beautiful and how it looks physically, our rooms weren't designed to install this kind of technology. And we have a very close business partnership with Access Video, who has helped us over the last couple of years and also helped us form a business partnership with Polyboard that made it possible for us to install this, this equipment in every classroom. So, Ms. Teresa Robbins of Access Video, we thank you very much for your time and your support of our school. And finally, you know, I often tell, tell people, the last two years, our school's kind of had a, a, a fairy godfather when it comes to someone who seems to come through with whatever we need, whenever we might need it. His official job is he is the present founder of a company called Creative Stream, and their company has supported our school, of, well, let's see, they give it an, an engraved nano to one student of the month each month, they've given us shuffles for kids who have shown tremendous improvement. Um, they were the people who helped make our brand new state of the art sound system possible, they've donated computers to our school, and when this gentleman finds an extra minute, he's actually the chairman of our school site council. Mr. Terry Mullen, would you please stand up and be recognized? <laughs> These are just a few of the critical people that have been so supportive and kind in their efforts and their generosity in helping us expand our resources to provide top-notch education for each of our students. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the Pioneer Advanced Chorus. You're gonna see a theme to each of the groups that I introduce. Our Advanced Chorus performed and competed in festival last year, compete against both middle schools and high schools from throughout Southern California. And as they enter, last year's group received unanimous superiors and was chosen the outstanding chorus of the entire competition. What I'm probably more proud of though, are events like this. I wish you could have seen the faces of the veterans in the audience when our group performed on, on Veterans Day this last year to our Tustin City veterans. 
this group is under the direction of Mrs. Vicki Cope. I think they tried to change wild line and make it wildcat, but the three syllables was too hard for the song. District, parents, business partners, principals are all very important to a school's success. But in the end, the success of a school comes down to what happens at school every day. It is the relationships between a school staff and students. It is the interactions between students and staff in the office in the food lines, on the plaza, and most importantly, in the classroom at the finest school. Ten years ago, this school was started with a belief, a belief that every student matters. I remember driving when I was first hired as assistant principal at this school with Ms. Hoyer, the first principal. We were driving off to lunch the first time I had ever met Ms. Hoyer after I was hired, and I asked her, I said, tell me what you picture this school being. And she said, we will get to know each and every student. We will know each student as an individual, and we will adjust what we do to meet their needs. Five years ago, our school made a very, very strong recommitment to this belief, and we set a school mission that we would maximize every student's academic potential and personal responsibility, that we would not settle for being a good school for most kids, but instead we would take the responsibility to be a great school for every student. It is this attitude and this dedication that makes Pioneer's staff so special. 
Speaking on behalf of the Pioneer staff, I am honored to introduce Mr. Doug Fisher, who is a previous Pioneer Teacher of the Year, previous TUSD Middle School Teacher of the Year, and semi-finalist for Orange County Teacher of the Year to say a few words on behalf of the Pioneer staff. Good morning, Superintendent Bray, members of the Board of Education, honored guests, parents, Pioneer Middle School administration, faculty, staff, and the 2008-2009 Pioneer Middle School student body. On behalf of the faculty, it is an honor to be asked to make a few remarks on what it is like to teach at Pioneer Middle School. Roughly 10 years ago, we began with 300 students in a school whose administration was a portable building up here in the corner, and only the 500, 600, and 700 buildings existed to hold classes in. The teachers used cell phones to communicate with. There were no computers, so students used paper keyboards to practice typing on. The foods class consisted of microwave ovens along the counter, so our, for our first foods teacher, Mrs. Polston, had to come up with a lot of top microwave recipes. Our band and orchestra room were rooms 701 and 702 with the wall open. I was always concerned that the music would bother the other classes nearby, but everyone understood the situation and no one complained, at least not to me. We had brand new chairs, desks, instruments, athletic equipment, and most of the other necessities. However, it was tough going that first year. Our first student of the month assembly was held out here on the blacktop with the, black, with the handball wall as the backdrop. It ended about as quickly as it began because a windstorm came through and blew dust and dirt all over everywhere and everyone. This plaza where we are currently sitting was a great big hole, and the gym, multi-purpose room, and music room were just a wooden skeleton with a cement floor. And now they are state-of-the-art facilities, along with our library, computer center, science rooms, and the many other buildings on this campus. I vividly remember one of Mr. Mattis' first announcements to the student body, warning them not to throw rocks over the fence at the construction workers. <laughs> I am very proud to be one of a great team of educators at the school. Our teachers arrive early in the morning, and some of us stay well past the time that school closes each day. We are all hardworking and specialists in our respective content areas, and each of us brings a special gift for our talent to pioneer. Each day, we consciously attempt to fulfill our school's mission statement, which is to maximize every student's academic potential and personal responsibility. Many of us coach athletic teams, academic teams, service club advisors, tutor students, or help with our intervention program. We put in countless hours to ensure our students' success in all areas. Some of us travel with our students and parents to Washington, D.C. over spring break, enabling our students to visit this great city and to continue teaching them about our American history and democracy. Others travel with students and parents to Spain and other parts of Europe to study foreign cultures overseas. If anyone thinks that teachers at Pioneer Middle School work for six and a half hours a day and then just go home and watch television, they are sorely mistaken. We go to conferences and clinics on our own time to improve our teaching skills. We serve on committees. We serve in departments. Our teachers do not watch the clock. We do whatever is best for kids, no matter how long it takes. I would have been proud to have my own children in any classes taught by any of my colleagues on the staff. In order to be a successful teacher at a National Blue Ribbon School or any other middle school, or any other school for that matter, you need several types of support, and I'm proud to say that we have all of them at Pioneer. I'm going to identify four of them for you. First, we have an amazing administrative staff. Our founding principal, Adele Hoyer, and current principal, Mike Mano, started with a vision and took us through the beginning of a new school to raising expectations of the students and staff just to see how high we could go. We quickly became one of the top five middle schools in Orange County, the last two years being in the top two. We became a two-time California Distinguished School, a national demonstration school for professional learning communities, and now a national Blue Ribbon School. Our assistant principals, first was Mike Mattos, followed by Kelly Fresh, John Albert, Jennifer Smith, and Andy DeSerrier, helped us continue on this path of excellence. Our counselors, Stacy Kosky and Melanie Miranda, have been instrumental in seeing that the teachers had the help and resources they needed to help students reach their full potential. Second, we have a support staff that is outstanding. Headed up by our office manager, Lenny Herman, our administrative and staff assistants do everything in their power to make sure that we can accomplish what we need to in our classrooms every day. And let's not forget that our plant manager, Al Acosta, and his staff 
along with Al's pals, work extremely hard to not only keep our school looking beautiful, but to make sure that the power is on every day, that our rooms are clean, that any repairs are done in a timely fashion, and that all of the programs and assemblies are set up and that logistics are taken care of for all of us. Third, we have a wonderful group of parents within the Pioneer Parent Teacher Organization. These hardworking people volunteer their time to make sure that our school is the best. Teachers can count on them to help in the classroom, to make copies, to help out with field trips, assemblies, or anything else. They begin their year by thanking the faculty members and handing them an envelope within the first week of school. And after summer, this is very important because inside the envelope is a $100 bill that we are free to use as we wish. They continue to work raising money through the magazine sale, the silent auction, and other projects. When donations are needed, they are there to help. Their work concludes when they put on the 8th grade promotion party that is the most amazing spectacle that anyone has ever seen in a middle school. And then they start all over again. Finally, and most importantly, we have you. The student body of 2008-2009. We have been blessed to teach the students who have gone on before you to high school and beyond. We currently have Pioneer alumni in many major universities in California and around the country, as well as in military academies. As you go through your middle school years here, you too will help write Pioneer's continuing legacy. You have continued to score among the highest on district, state, and national tests for which you have been recognized. Our own academic Olympics, headed up by Mr. Billings and our ASB, fosters competition, makes students stronger. We have had academic decathlon teams, science Olympiad teams, and athletic teams that have brought honor to Pioneer throughout our short history. Our bands, orchestras, choirs, drama, and yearbook classes have earned many awards and achievements. We have had individual students who have also earned high honors in various areas, and all of this continues, even today. To that end, I would like to have all of my current colleagues and former teaching colleagues stand right now, please, while I close. I said that I would be proud to have any of these individuals teach my own children. And frankly, any one of them could be up here speaking as I am right now. And what they would say would all be a little different because we're all different and unique personalities. But one thing that all of us would say is that we're all proud and honored to be a part of this special place, Pioneer Middle School and National Blue Ribbon School. Thank you very much. before I walked away, and I should not have done that. We always say at this school that once a wildcat, always a wildcat. And to this end, I'd like to personally thank the numerous former wildcats who have taken time out of their busy schedule to join us today. Much like what Mr. Fitcher just did, I would ask that all the current pioneer and past pioneer faculty and administrators please stand right now to be recognized. Finally, when we talk about a staff, the success in a classroom would not be possible without the direct support of our outstanding classified staff. This staff starts with, as Mr. Fisher mentioned, our office manager, Ms. Leany Herman, who is an original Wildcat and actually was the first person after Ms. Hoyer hired to help create this school. Also, the first and only plant manager at this school is Mr. Al Acosta. When you think that this school is 10 years old. I don't think anyone who was a stranger to this campus would walk in and ever guess that this school was a decade old already. That's because the outstanding work and the pride that he takes in keeping this school the way it is. And finally, I would like to recognize Mr. Gil Martinez, who is the director or the head of our food services department here at Pioneer. Um, it is not easy feeding 1,400 kids every day, especially at a school where we have a different schedule seemingly every day and his flexibility in what he does to support what we're doing as a whole is definitely most appreciated. If you are a pioneer classified staff member, past or present, would you please stand and be recognized? I am now 
honored to introduce the Pioneer Chamber Orchestra. Again, to continue the theme, this group has competed the last four years in festival, and again, four consecutive years of perfect scores, unanimous superiors, a record number of students selected to the Orange County Honor Band, and when you hear them play, you might say, they sound kind of familiar to me if you're not a regular Wildcat. It's probably because you heard them when you're on hold calling the district office, because usually the hold music that's played there isn't a CD by a professional group, it's a CD of our students playing. Please welcome the Pioneer Chamber Orchestra under the direction of Mr. Doug Fisher.
And finally, and most appropriately, it is time for us to acknowledge the people who have really earned this award, and that is our students. Ultimately, only students can learn. Teachers, parents, staff can put them in a place to learn. We can guide them in learning. We can help them learn. But only students can learn. And I truly believe that we have the finest students of any school, anywhere. Consider for a moment the accomplishments of the students that you see in front of you. A National Blue Ribbon School, one of only three middle schools in the state of California receiving that award in 2008. A two-time California Distinguished School, one of eight schools in the entire nation named a National Professional Learning Community. The highest API in Orange County on average over the last two years. A two-time Governor's Challenge Fitness Award-winning Pace Setter School. A yearbook that has received national honors at two different levels. And recently, our school was selected by the GE Foundation as one of 15 schools in the country that will be studied for, to find best practice in education so it could be replicated throughout the country. This is a group of students that achieved a level of learning that is literally unmatched by any middle school anywhere. To speak on behalf of the Pioneer students, I would like to introduce our current ASB president, Ms. Caitlin Mines. Good morning. Before I get started, I would like to thank all of you for allowing me the opportunity to speak on behalf of Pioneer Middle School and the student body. It is truly an honor. There is a saying that luck is the intersection of hard work and opportunity. If this is true, then we are very lucky students to be here at Pioneer Middle School. Our student body, along with the teachers and staff, were presented with an opportunity to showcase why we are Wildcats. Together, we seized the opportunity, and we made it what it is, a national blue ribbon school. Today, Pioneer can only be described as extraordinary. Pioneer's unbelievable staff, teachers, and energetic students helped our school achieve this great honor. The hard work and dedication by teachers in the classroom have made learning fun and enjoyable. Their commitment to the school and the students is without comparison. The students that attend class every day have embraced this experience and have put forth their best efforts to improve day by day. Our success in the classroom is directly related to our teachers' hard work. Our wonderful administrators provide an environment filled with choices. They use our school's diversity to help us make decisions that are right for the student body and not a group or an individual. We, the students, actually get to make decisions for our school. Because of this, we have a voice and a privilege to work with the teachers to make our experience here more rewarding and more enjoyable. The freedom and responsibility that we are afforded have made a significant impact on why we excel. Collectively, we work hard every day to make Pioneer a better place to learn, to experience, and to grow. We feel safe and at home and look forward to being here each and every day. I mean, look at this beautiful campus. Why would we want to be anywhere else? Every day, we get to live out our school's motto, to maximize every student's academic potential and personal responsibility. It is no accident that Pioneer has been recognized as a national Blue Ribbon School. Now that we have set a precedent on what we can accomplish and what is possible, we must look to the future and set our sights a bit higher. All I can say is that we truly have luck on our side for an amazing future. <coughs> for this, I'd like to say thank you to the teachers, the parents, the student body, and the administration for making this a historic moment and building the foundation for future success at Pioneer Middle School. Thank you. I put Caitlin last because she speaks so well, I didn't want to follow her. At the, at the heart of our school are students every day doing their best. We challenge them to be real wildcats. That stands for respect, explore, achieve, and lead. We want every student to treat each other with respect, to reach the highest levels of achievement, to explore and, and discover different things for their future, as well as to be a leader. I'd like to demonstrate something to our guests that are here so you can understand why we are able to achieve what we are able to, to achieve. I'm gonna name off a few different groups or, or, or 
a few different distinct recognitions of students here at this school. I want you to note how many students stand. If you are currently a member of ASB, would you please stand? Thank you, have a seat. Pal, please stand. Thank you, if you're an eighth grade mentor, please stand. Thank you, if you're a festival of youth member, please stand. Thank you, if you're a member of Owl's Pal, please stand. Thank you, member of Abbott, please stand. Thank you, if you are on any level of our school's band, to please stand. Thank you, a member of our orchestra program, any level, please stand. Thank you, currently part of our chorus department, please stand. Thank you, a member of our art production class, please stand. Thank you. If you're a member of our drama performance or drama groups, please stand. Thank you. If you're a member of our yearbook staff, please stand. Thank you. Science Olympiad team, please stand. Thank you. If you have earned honor roll 3.5 or higher at any point in your time here, please stand. Thank you. If you are a Wildcat Award recognition person, 3.0 or higher, no Fs, no Us, at least 1.0 in assistantship work efforts, please stand. Thank you. If you're a Fab 14 member, perfect pose, citizen in assistantship and work efforts on your last report card, please stand. Thank you. If you've tried out and or played on a Pioneer sports team, including our intramural program, please stand. Thank you. If you've earned service hours to the school and been a service award winner, please stand. Thank you. If you've been a past student of the month selected by a staff member for your excellence, please stand. Thank you. If you've been honored with our Cognac luncheon, would you please stand? Thank you. If you consider yourself a real wildcat, would you please stand? Thank you. I will say again, we cannot learn for students. We can just put them in the best opportunity possible to succeed. It's students who have to walk through the door. It's they who have to embrace that this school is not about, as, as, as Ms. Ron said so well, awards are nice, but it's not what we do. It, it's about your future. It's about your success. It's about living a happy life that, that fulfills you as an adult the foundation that you set right now. And the number of students who take that challenge and who try their best each and every day, that is the engine that drives the success at this school. At this point, we would like to do two recognitions here for the actual Distinguished and Blue Ribbon Award. And I would like at this point, hold on, I gotta go back inside my notes here, so excuse me or bear with me. I have to work backwards. At this point, if Ms. Monica Noonan would please come forward. And at the exact time, it is my distinct pleasure to reintroduce to you Ms. Kat Vermilas. She is a representative for Senator Mimi Walters, who has come with a special recognition related to our national blue ribbon. Ms. Vermilas, please. Good morning. Um, it is my distinct honor to be here in the presence of such outstanding students, parents, and teachers. Um, it is such a pleasure and you guys should all be very proud of everything you've done to receive this National Blue Ribbon Award. So on behalf of Senator Mimi Walters, I want to present you guys with this certificate um, in honor of your uh, your outstanding work this past year. So thank you. And continuing outstanding performance. Thank you. And then Ms. Noonan, if you'd please come forward. Ms. Noonan was the 2008-2009 Teacher of the Year for our staff. And we were allowed to have two people attend the National Blue Ribbon Recognition Awards weekend or week uh, in Washington, D.C. And there we received the official plaque and the official flag. And as representatives of the school, the two of us would like to now present this to Mr. Bray, Mr. Laird, 
and Caitlin Mize representing our district and our students in receiving this award. get this award again I'm going to remind myself I'm going to take all my notes and staple them in order and then when I mess them up because I shuffle around then I'll be able to say oh here's where I'm at I'm on that page That's right. Caitlin I have your speech too <laughs> oh boy finally this event this actual ceremony didn't happen by accident there are a few people I want to thank before we close first off Mr. Mark Elliott, our Director of Communications and Public Information, has been invaluable to us throughout this process. Mr. Elliott, I thank you. <laughs> to Mr. Acosta, to our entire custodial staff, as well as to the district's support from Mr. Pete Burns, all the way down. The two weeks of prep work that's gone on to spit, polish, and shine this school to have it ready for this day. We thank you. To Lady Herman, who, when it comes to all the program, the organization of who's coming, when they're coming, how they're coming, every little nuts and bolts behind the scenes about this particular event when it comes to programs and those types of elements. Thank you so much. And then finally and honestly, this entire event wasn't planned by me, wasn't taken out by me. It was by my two fellow colleagues that helped lead this school. The assistant principals, Ms. Jen Smith and Mr. An Andy Desarriere, could not do it without you. Thank you. For our guests that are here, we would like a tour of, 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 of the school beyond uh, at the conclusion of this event. You'll meet where our tower is there. Tours will be available to our students of the month and staff. I remind you that our luncheon is in the multi-purpose room when this is done. Finally, well, I think we all were very moved and had a unique opportunity to watch history happen yesterday with the inauguration of our new president. And when you heard the words that were said about the importance of us working together, unity at, 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 as a nation, being singularly dedicated and hardworking to achieve as a nation, I bet there are people watching that thinking that's a nice dream but in reality I'm not sure if it's possible well I am confident for any person who would come and visit this school who would see what happens when you have a group of people who are singularly dedicated to a cause a cause of assisting each and every child to succeed and when you see the efforts of our students and what they do I am extremely confident that we are a model that the nation can follow as we move forward during this very important time in our nation's history. I'd like to thank you all for coming. If you are a guest that has joined us, uh, we would like to excuse you now.
Santa needs an elf, so here we go. Thank <laughs> you.